Time is scarce in the life of an engineer, so let's get right to the editing of the point cloud. The limit box tool allows us to cut out the part of the point cloud that we do not need. Let's focus on the staircase and try to delete the rest of the point cloud. For better navigation through the point cloud, options for the view of interfaces of the selection box and also an option to highlight edges is given. Highlight edges option helps in visualizing the cut plane between the section box and the scan itself. All that's left now is to confirm this selection. If we decide that the selection we made was not the right one, we can always go to the selection box and select reset the current limit box. The display settings icon hides the color mode, lighting settings, points and toggle UI elements buttons. The color mode, as the help icon says, sets the color mode used to display points. And the most useful options for this mode are the RGB mode, which is the initial one, you can see that on the screen. The normal mode, which shows you the normals of imaginary faces formed by groups of points of the point cloud. And of course the elevation mode, which shows you the elevation of certain points within the point cloud in relation to the origin point of the point cloud. Just like in photo editing software, the lighting settings help us visualize the point cloud in our project. Lighting sides have the single, double and none options. You can see that the single option gives us a certain amount of contrast, while the double doubles it. I will just leave this at none or single. Shader model is basically a model for rendering the point cloud. I'll just leave that at Lambert. And edge highlighting, as the name suggests, highlights the edges of our point cloud. The point submenu hides one very rarely used function, which is the point display function, with which we can choose to make the point cloud points much bigger or much smaller. I will just use this setting to set the size on 1. And the update origin function, which is extremely powerful and which helps us set or change the origin point of our point cloud, which was set previously by our surveyor. One extremely important thing to remember here, if you do decide to move the origin point, do let your main surveyor know about it. <laughs> and that's before you actually do anything. If the reference to the original project zero or origin point is lost, there is practically a zero chance of redoing the operation of origin point movement and keeping the level of accuracy on a necessary level. The remaining submenu toggle UI elements is mainly focused on turning on and off the visibility of mirror balls, that's the rare balls, annotations that we showed previously how to do, perspective view and tools like feedback, navigation, navigation tips, the display grid, real view, undo, redo, view cube and welcome screen. These are all the main icons on the main screen.